Hey Origami, how you doing? Wow, that temple. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. So it's been a while since our last session because of like actual work stuff now that <laughs> now that I'm actually working. But uh let's see, so wait, this was exactly one week ago. And I believe this should be day two of the field study in uh okay, what's the name of the city that we're in again? Yeah, Berea Hard. It's Friday? It's Friday. Alright, and in terms of quest stuff. Okay, okay, so. Fighting nostalgia. Okay, okay. So we 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 met the the series goofballs, Anton and Ricky. And Anton got himself lost at and wandered off to Ark's Fort. And we escorted him back with a funny little reference to the shit he experienced in Crossbell. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I kind of wonder how. I mean, it's probably a anyone who hasn't played the Crossbell games, obviously, but I bet, like, y yeah, everyone got caught off guard when Anton just yelled out how he hates, uh, he hates festivals. Oh boy. Uh, just for context, uh, I believe he was referencing the misunderstanding on his date, I think, during... Or, I think it was during his date in uh, Chapter 3 of Trails from Zero during the Crossbell Anniversary Festival. Where basically... Like, there's like a, a side character that uh, Anton was like, uh, who, who he had like a huge like crush on, love at first sight, you know, all the googly eyed stuff that he's been going through since Trails in the Sky. Oh no, no, Trails in the Sky, he was trying to like do different, was he just trying to explore around before he was like, oh wait, no, I want to go searching for my true love instead of like, Wandering around as like a traveler wanting to see the world. No, I want to look for that special someone And oh boy And he tried looking for uh, Or what was it? He was uh, What's that word I'm looking for? But, but basically like he had a huge crush on uh, Fran Seeker and That was it because like she's the receptionist at the crossbow police department and, and, uh, what was it? Fran just recognized them as only a, like, or, I, I guess, like, unintentionally friend-zoned him. And mentioned that she also has a special someone in her heart. But then, Anton read, misunderstood that as Fran had a boyfriend already. But what Fran meant to say is that she loves her sister Noelle Seeker with all her heart. Like, not in uh, any weird way, but just, you know, like sisterly love and stuff and uh, all that. She, she just really cares about her sister. But then Anton didn't get the memo and uh, stormed out with, uh, stormed out with tears going down his cheek, completely misunderstanding what she meant. And probably hates the festival and Crossbell forever for <laughs> after experiencing such heartbreak. And then here, and then here he is here in this game. I'm just like, God damn it, boy! <laughs> Get your head together. <laughs> oh my God, fucking, <laughs> fucking Anton, dude. Oh. Now I gotta wonder, whenever we go to Calvard, what random shit he's gonna get himself into. Oh wait. Wait, in Calvard we have, uh, Kilika. I wonder if Anton's gonna do anything stupid and try to put some moves on Kilika only for Kilika to just play around with him. Cause you know how perceptive Kilika is. 
<laughs> Especially being part of the, like, uh, our, what was it, the Calvard Intelligence Division or something? Or she's like, is she like the head of, I forgot, was she the head of the Calvard, of Calvard's Intelligence Division? Or she's like second in command or something like that? Either way, she was like, ve she's very high up in the Intelligence uh, Division in Calvard. So, obviously, Kilika's just gonna screw around with them. <laughs> Cause you you know what you know with Anton and Ricky like, but like, Rick, Ricky's just there to reel him back in by his leash, and Anton's like just gonna go. Look uh, until the series until the trail series ends, Anton's not gonna find anyone. But let let's be real here. <laughs> he. The only time you'll see Anton actually have a happy ending is when this is on the last game of the series. Mark my words. <laughs> they are not going to end like these goofballs antics like this early in the series. <laughs> Man, I believe what was it? Uh Oh yeah, there's the herb stuff. And then the, oh yeah, the highway monster. I forget, do we talk to everyone? I don't know the same. Okay, no, I think I remember this one. Okay, so give me a moment because I, it's been a week and I don't remember if I talked to everyone or not. Just let me talk to a few NPCs, see if I remember anything. Kind of nice all of a sudden. Persistent. Didn't plan for dinner tonight. Wasn't thrilled by the idea. Oh, okay, okay. So we did read through. Oh, okay, okay. So we did read through everything here. Oh yeah. Wait, I did. Oh, I forgot because of everything that I've been busy with. I wanted to grind out. I wanted to grind out Seppa to finish everyone else's. Uh, Orbman slots and all that. Right, right. Because I believe that I still have a, a lot left to farm up for... Let's see. Yeah, for Emma. And we can definitely make, uh, make this eventually. And I would like to finish Machias. And for Fee... Yeah, we can get we can get her uh, other slot in line too here. Okay, so we'll have to go grind this out. I know people probably would want me to. Actually, wait, I forgot to close my previous so it doesn't like stutter. I mean, it's not not that it does stutter that much, but I do notice I might notice some here or there. But yeah. Uh, let's go finish up a, a little bit of grinding. Also need to get a get reaccustomed to running around the field here because it feels like something feels different. Oh yeah, we have uses, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uses has to visit his uh, his father. And he's not too enthusiastic about it. Like... What was it? Oh, right! Also, don't mind if my voice sounded a bit different, I was getting some soda. But, uh... Right, right. Yusus and... Uh, what was it? Yusus and Reen had that, like... Heart, like, heart-to-heart -heart talk about... Like their families and everything, and uses like opened up a bit more. But then, or what was it? Because we learned that Usus is kind of considered amongst the nobles and his father as the family's bastard child, since he was obviously, you know, his dad's noble, duh, but the mother is actually a commoner. So it's kind of like, uh, what was it? Nobles who really care about, like, uh, 
Well, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, for a family's uh, line of birth or whatever. Uh, God, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for again? Ah, uh, oh fuck, dude, fuck me. But uh, but basically, uh, a good amount of the nobles discriminate against Yusus because of uh, his mother's side. Although, they kind of bend over- people would bend over backwards anyways because they don't want to piss off anyone in the uh, Alvarea family. But behind his back, they, they always make fun of Yusus uh, for being born to a commoner, or from a commoner mother. And then, overhearing that conversation, Machias kind of reevaluated how he's been treating Yusus like, is that even even as a noble, he was actually born, you know, to a a, a, a what was it? His mo his mother was a commoner, and then he's like, oh fuck! It's like, what have I done? <laughs> and that, and like actually hearing about like all the shit that Yusus has to put up with on the noble side of uh, society. So Machias is. You know, albeit slowly and he's a little bit too embarrassed to completely apologize for his behavior. It's like, he, he kind of like, instead of having that animosity toward uses for his nobility, he's kind of redirecting that into more of a, a facade to kind of, like... What was how 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 was I gonna word that? Okay, I remember like wording this like the way I wanted it during the last session, but uh, instead of actual like genuine hate and animosity, it's now he's using he's using that same attitude as kind of like a rivalry, I guess, between Yusus and Machias. Hmm. So he's kind of like playing around with the idea of like him being like a snobby uptight noble when he, he's just too embarrassed to admit that he was like outright wrong. <laughs> or misunderstood, you know, all that stuff, you, you know how it is. But uh, yeah. Also wait, which monsters have more... Okay, so horn teeter. So turtle, horn teeter, ant eater. Okay, no, I think this is one of those things where I just kill everything. Oh wait, wait. Oh fuck. I kind of forgot how to change. Wait, I forget. Wait, wait. What bunny? Dude, it's it's been a week and I already forgot what bunny was to change characters. It's only useless that can get the triple advantage because of the thrust attribute. Here. Right. My turn. It's my turn. Here. <laughs> Let's keep going. Right. Alright, but we're gonna go grind for a while so I can get the Ormond slots on, then we'll proceed with the Howie monster. Alright, Mantis. Turn around. It's my turn. Here we go. Tur there we go. And of course that didn't really matter in the end. 
Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. Go! Uh, there's no Sepeth up, unfortunately. fight against that enemy, it's too annoying, honestly. Blessing. Hear me. Thanks. Right. Go. Go. Gotcha. Okay. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. All right. Let's go save here. Actually, wait. Uh, wasn't. Turn. Right. Okay. Yeah. No, that's only double. I'll handle it. Hmm. Okay. Seventeen. Here we go. Uh, right. All oh, right. That that has big delay. Oops. Going. 
Actually, that's way too far. My turn. Right. Eat that. Now's our chance. My turn. Uh, oh, okay. There is the Sepith up. Okay. My turn. All right. Let's do this. Leave it to me. It's my turn. Here. Leave it to me. How about this? Now. No. Yeah. I'll handle it. My turn. Here we go. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. All right. Okay. Yeah. That is most of the Sepith I need. And now I gotta go back because we don't have enough CP for this. Because unless they changed it, the amount of sympathy you get is based on how many hits. It's uh, my turn. Hold on. I've got that. It's based on how many hits the attack does. The more hits, the more sympath you'll shake out of them, essentially. And compared to Reen, where he only does three hits, Fee basically just shoots up the entire field. Now's our chance. Okay. Ooh. My turn. It's my turn. Flames, gavel on my blade. Okay, it's safe for now. Yeah, that's not... Because, like, what was it? These things, like, should provide a little bit more, but because it wasn't that many hits, you still don't get that much Sepeth. Like, you would have expected, like, in the 20s for each for each type. But you really need Fee to rack up the multi-hit, essentially. It's pretty much why, uh... Sepeth farming in Trails to Azure is... <laughs> Pretty easy once you know the trick. The annoying thing, I know duh if you know the trick, but the annoying thing is setting setting it up. Cause then you rely on the Sepitha bonus. But compared to Trails to Azure though, you you gotta just roll with it because monsters disappear after you run away. In all the previous Trails games before Cold Steel, the monster would always persist after leaving a fight, I believe. You just had invuln time, so you don't head straight back into it. Alright. So yeah, so in Trails to Azure, like, when you find a Shining Palm, you want to get uh, your certain pair of characters that had a certain combo craft that had a ridiculous amount of hits to it compared to every other combo craft in the game. And then you use that particular combo craft on a group of three or more shining palms and you have to restart the- f or, and you definitely should restart the fight if you don't have three or more because it can spawn fr from anywhere between one to four. Four is a little bit too rare to find, but if it comes up, great. If not, well, settle for three. And then, should you time it right, assuming you have the right RNG for the Sepeth upturn to line up, then you can basically get four, three to four hundred of each Sepeth per run. And getting that is a bit better than just farming them outright, because you farm them once, you have to go all the way back to town because that's just how it works in the crossbow games for some reason because when the moment you go onto the field they are generated but then you can't just go from like let's say canyon path one to canyon path two to generate them no 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 you got to go back to the town and then back out to generate them which is kind of dumb compared to trails in the sky 
that, that, that's what I really don't like. Like, it's it feels like they made that decision to prevent people from farming it too much. Oh, come on. It's a single-player JRPG. You know people are going to farm stuff. At the very least, just make it easier on them by just going from one area to the next, then back. But then, let's say if, like, a Shining Palm was in, like, Canyon Path 3, then you'd have to go all the way back to Berea Hard, and then all the way back to Canyon Path 3 to get that Shining Palm spawn. And it's a chance, by the way. So, you'd have to do that in Trails to Azure and Trails from Zero. So that's why in Trails to Azure, it is definitely worth it to just keep leaving and then going back so that you can uh, look for the Sepitha bonus. Otherwise, it's just not worth your time trying to respawn them if you kill them normally. But in this game, yeah, unless they have like a different version of a Shining Palm in this game. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Ah. Gleaming blade. Right. Uh, what, what do you mean you missed? My turn. Here we go. It's my turn. All right, let's keep moving. Hmm. And honestly, okay, you know what? I, I think it. I think it'd just be worth my time, or more of my time, to go for the Horn Teeter with Sepith up than I am just trying to fight everything along the way, I think. Green raccoon. Retreat. Let's keep moving. Cause yeah, after you retreat, it just disappears, which is a shame. Actually, I wonder if you reload, does it? Okay, yeah, it's still here. Now's the chance. Let's get him. Okay. Time to retreat. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say, so, you know what? I think it be worth the time just do this instead hope for like a five spawn or is a five spawn the one on top because like i don't think i've noticed the oh no there it is here we go okay no no there we go there we go all right let's do it i'll handle it okay go Done. But we can't relax yet. Okay, there's a bit of a separate difference. But I think that's I think that's mostly because of Fee's uh Master Quartz that I gave her. Cause this Master Quartz, I believe, gives Sepith on Oh no no, that was on Reen. Oh, what am I doing? I should have just put Scepter on Fee if I was uh, gonna do this. Yeah, missed opportunities. Alright. And now we just go back. Go all the way back. Got no time for small fry. Because I could just do this with Reen as well. Or alternatively... Uh... Hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? Alternatively, I could have taken the time for some fights to use Emma and feed CP into Fee non-stop. But I don't want to keep doing that versus just running back to the, uh, running back to the hotel, though. Oh, wait, 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 no. We don't need, a. Uh... hold on. Instead of doing that, we could just go to the uh, inn over here. Because we only need 100. 100 CP. 200, it, or was it? In all of the Trails games, you always have two kinds of... Or, did you always have it? 
I think so. You always have two kinds of like resting places. You have your basic inner ho uh, inner hotel that restores you to 100 CP. But then you have the more pricey one for double the price to restore up to 200 CP depending on your needs. But uh, yeah, for Sepith farming like this, you definitely just want to restore up to 100 and then farm on basically. Okay, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna greed this a bit because that was only a two spawn. Or maybe I should have used the reen if I was gonna do that. Now's our chance. My turn. Time to retreat. Time to retreat. Bye bye. I forget. Does Fee have a uh, septium vein? Yeah, she does. Okay. Okay. Right. Check. Oh shit. It's my turn. Go. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. Here we go. Hmm. Maybe just beat these normally. I'll handle it. Yeah. Now. Right. Beat that. My turn. Chance. Gotcha. Well, that went better. Or alternatively. Okay. Leave it to me. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Ooh, there it is. Here we go. All right, let's do. Okay. It's my turn. Right. My turn. Okay. It's my turn. Actually, maybe I should have repositioned them. Go. Go. Actually, no, no, it still gets all of them. Okay, go. Because as, as you see them all taking hits, you can see more Seth is going out of them. Although the spinning camera does make it easy to see, but it Target does happen. Eliminated. Let's get going. Yep, everything in the 40s and 50s. Hmm. Yeah, so the five spawn with the horn teeter would be more prop would be the most profitable one. Although, that's assuming, like, I'm willing to let the RNG take that long to come up. But I'll take four... What were they called? Stealth Turtles? Yeah, I'll take four Stealth Turtles, though. That's kind of like the second best outcome, I think. Whoops. So yeah, four stealth turtles or the horn teeter set up. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Now this one's gonna be a pain, a huge pain again. Alright, is there anything I can put on? Oh yeah, no duh, HP. <laughs> I remember complaining about or, yeah, how 
people are a little bit too squishy for this point in the game. Or at the very least on hard mode. Because 2k health is not much to work with. Definitely want two and a half or 3k. 3k is like the good is like the nice spot right now. 2.5 is the minimum that's comfortable to work with. Move on over, buddy. Oh shit. Okay. I've got this. Oh what? Uh, Here we go. With. Okay. What do you mean? Right. It's my turn. Go. That's that. Let's keep moving. Yeah, you get you get fuck all from these. Calm down. Or I wonder, does Sepeth go down with level? No. Cause wait, wait. Those things shouldn't just be giving me four. Oh no 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 no! That uh, I was looking at Sepeth mass. Never mind. So wait, what drops? Okay, so the raccoon and. Mantis, but the problem with the Mantis is that it doesn't give time Sepeth. So yeah, the, the best one on average would be... Because I'm looking at the the higher elements of the Sepeth. Time, Space, and Mirage. So Horn Teeter... So yeah, Horn Teeter is just the best average here. You know, I should probably- I, I really should save right before I get there. Man, I'm looking for a 5 spawn with one Sepeth up within- view, Or was it? One visible Sepeth bonus within the turn order. Confirmation bias, but this this particular horn teeter up here has probably has a better tendency of spawning four or more. They just confirmation bias speaking. Here we go. No, that's just three. Well, actually, just just for curiosity's sake, how much does this give me by itself? Or sorry, with just these three. Yes, we're safe. Yeah. You definitely want to get. You definitely want five. <laughs> I did it. Cause I'm not gonna. I'm gonna satisfy with just thirty. Now the chance. Let's get them. Here we go. Retreat. And the Let's five spawn is a very rare uh, enemy pattern, isn't it? I know, mean, duh. Damn. It's my turn. 
Yeah, no, that's unfortunate. Please excuse us. But even with the green raccoon, even with the green raccoon, you really want Sepeth up. Dude, if I had that green right here. Okay. Well, we got the five spawn. So you know what? My turn. Okay, go. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. that. Wait, that was like around fifty each, right? Ooh, got some time, Sepeth. Alright, and I guess for the... I'll handle it. Leave it to me! I guess for the turtles, we'll just have uh, Reen clean them up. Now's our chance! Here we go! Ah, fuck it. Flames, scabble on my... That's that. Let's keep moving. <laughs> it gives so little for that. Uh Alright, alright. Ooh, out of my way, out of my way. Oh, maybe I should go kill him. It's my turn. Go. Now's our chance. Go. That's that. Let's keep moving. But yeah, at least to to at least level up the Oh, oh, now you have, now you have the Sepeth turn. Okay, okay, you know what, it's worth it. Uh, hold on. Store 25 C, no, I don't want to use my victory sandwich for that. I hear it is, bitter sandwich. Not bad, my turn. Are you kidding? Dude. Oh my god. Done. Well, we can't relax I keep yet. forgetting it's not like fucking Trails in the Sky, dude. Because like, in Trails in the Sky there's always like that second de like, half second delay before they start moving for you to register in your mind to uh, use your S-break to interrupt their turn. Like, what was it? Like, ever since- or what was it? It's been a thing since the Crossbell games that the enemies go the very moment their turn comes up. Oh my god. I'm so- I'm so mad about that. I am so mad about that. Cause that easily would have given me like a hundred plus I think you know what I'm so mad about that I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go for it again oh my god I robbed myself there <laughs> that easily would have been like a hundred or not a hundred each, but at the very least that would have been a hundred something Mirage. Which I desperately need right now. Okay. Because I forgot that pattern uh, existed. So I might as well just farm this out because it's a shorter run back.
Oh, that's the turtle. Uh... Now's our chance. My turn. Retreat. Let's keep moving. Unfortunately, Andre's not going to favor me this time around, is it? Oh no, that was after the... Oh, wait. How, wait, how does this game manage its autosaves? Huh. Because normally... Normally in Trails in the Sky, you get... You get auto saves every time you enter through a different area. But he or was well, it also applies to uh crossbow as well. But here? Oh. That's like a huge time. Here they come. Be careful, everyone. My turn. That's like a huge time gap between saves. That's weird. It didn't work. Fuck. I'll handle it. Time to try bye. Oh, I keep forgetting to save in the next area. I will get this god spawn. With Sepitha. Now's our chance. Son of a bitch. Here we go. Okay. Here. It's my turn. Yeah, no, it's not happening. You won't be so lucky next time. Yeah, wait, Green Raccoon has been bye bye. rather common. Now, if only I can get that Sepith up. Because, a reminder, the Green Raccoon has a good amount of Sepith mass to it as well. And I want that. Advantage is ours. Let's oh, you gotta be... God damn it. Alright, how much is two gonna give me? Okay. Or sorry, not two, three. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. Uh, not as much as I thought. Done. Uh, I'll deal. <laughs> well, you know what? I might as well commit to get uh, Emma's performance slots out. Look, I swear, I'll get to that highway monster, but this really needs to get done. Okay, come on. 
I just want to see the god spawn again. Advantage is ours. No. Okay. My god spawn. Bye bye. I just want to see it one more time, preferably with Sephith up. We have the advantage. Oh man, the green My raccoon's turn. not here. Time to retreat. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Just a double. Oh, you know what? Oh fuck! I was like redo it. My turn. Oh wait, you can't even. Oh, I forgot your AOE is small. Yeah. Actually, no, I forgot this. <laughs> Please excuse us. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. Oh. Oh? Okay? <laughs> Move it over a little- or nudge it over a little. Uh, I have a feeling- no, that would knock it away. I, I wish the flash grenade was a, a ground target. Because Randy has like a similar thing as well uh, from the crossbow games where you can throw his flashbang on the ground and then you can angle it. Like let's say behind this green raccoon here on the right. Then you can angle it so that you can like slightly adjust their positioning. But here it's like why? Why for a flashbang? Why is it unit targeted? That's what bothers me. Wait, just double checking. Does the S craft have a range? No, it's like field wide with where. Also, okay, yeah, it's big enough where it catches everyone. Okay, okay. Let's just move back just in case. Yeah. Right. See how much we get. Guess we're safe. Aw, oh, what? Uh, not the hundred I expected in terms of the Mirage, but you know what? Sure. Hmm. That makes me wonder who else in this game has a very good... S craft for Sepeth farming. Or oh, should I bother with Emma's last orbman slot? Hmm. Nah. You know what? I think I'll settle for now, just because uh, I'm getting a little antsy myself with progressing. So let me just rest up. Ooh. Upgrade the ornaments. Wait, hold on, real quick. I got some soda, but like, with all the ice, uh, all the condensations, like, in the table dirty. I mean, I have a coaster, but. Yeah, I don't want to let the water build up. Oh, they just... <laughs> I, I, I'm just, like, wiping this cup with my shirt, basically. <laughs> because it'll... Dr uh, my shirt will dry out. I don't want to get the rest of the table dirty if, like, too much of the water builds up. Okay. So we can definitely get both of these, or... 
I think it'd be more useful for Machias to get the slot though, and then get this one. Alright, in terms of Quartz though... Uh, I don't really want Earth Pulse. Oh, it would be nice if I didn't get another Dark Matter, though. Fortuna, hmm. EP Cut. Actually, I'll get this for the future. Okay, you know what? You know what? I really want this. <laughs> okay, I swear, after this next one, I swear. Look, dark matter is very important. Anyone who's played the Treyos games knows how good Dark Matter is. It is, a, it is too good of a skill to pass up. In hindsight, maybe we should have just been doing this. Just go back and forth between here. In hindsight. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. Go! Hmm. Arcus, activate. Okay. I forgot. It's my turn. Huh. That's that. Let's keep moving. We have the advantage. Oh, come on. Come on! Go. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. It's my turn. My turn. It's my turn. <laughs> Let's keep going. Got a you material. Actually, what do we? Oh wait, no. Class C. Yeah, like this one's just stronger. Okay. Right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Here. Right. Here we go. My turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going. Back again. Advantage is ours. Let's finish. Oh, man. Okay. My turn. Yeah. Gleaming. This is it. Welcome. It's my turn. All right. Let's keep moving. Man, that hurts. Now's our chance. I'll 
Okay, you know I'm what? Covered. No, fuck this. <laughs> oh, whoops, whoops, hold on. I'm losing my direction. Sepeth up, but there's only two Mantis spawns. We have the advantage. Go! Retreat! Let's keep moving. I swear. Just give me another just give me another chance. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Beginning combat. Go. Retreat. It didn't My work. turn. Time to retreat, jerks. It's my turn. We should retreat. <laughs> Please excuse us. game is taunting me. They will give me my god spawn. Now's the chance. Let's get him. Here we go. Oh for fucks. Okay, you know what? Fuck this shit. Flames, gavel on my blade. That's that. Let's keep moving. Okay, you know what? Fine, fine. I'll settle. I got my 250 for dark matter. Oh wait, no, the factory was, uh, right here. So, quartz... Dark matter... Oh, we need 15 for another cast. God... Damn it. Oh... I, re I really wish Sepeth Exchange was a thing again. It was in Trail's second chapter, I believe. Because of uh, certain events. But, oh my god. I forget, who else can use move to? Yeah, I think most people can use move to, honestly. I'll take a move to... Uh, with Fire Sepeth, I don't think any of these really catch my attention. Maybe HP one. Tira? Frost? No. HP, HP... The HP. The arch strength is. Okay, so everyone else's arch strength is okay, but. Hmm. I guess I'll have Earth Lance, though. Actually, should you have Tira? This does have... No, that's like... No, no, no. That's not speed. Uh... Let's just have you with Tira, just in case.
But who has the least amount of... You have the least amount of move. Ah. Uh... Nah, I guess I'll give it to... Tareen. Actually, let's give you move one. Let's give you move two. And let's see. Compared, comparing your other stats. Actually, wait. Oh, you can stack the. Oh, what the heck? I did not know that. Oh. Huh. Uh, they just put defense. I'm not really sure what else to put on here. Okay. Let's go back to the inn. And let's go fight ourselves a monster.